the role of tech in problem solving for Africa's future. That was the overriding theme during the Nairobi Tech Week. This conference attracts hundreds of people, bringing various actors and influencers to one space to exhibit the forefront of innovation and technology. Here, a budding new generation of technologists, coders, entrepreneurs are gathered to address some of the continent's most pressing issues. Entire new industries in payment, crowdsourcing, and entertainment are emerging from tech hubs around the continent. The government is showing its commitment by attempting to replicate this all over the country. The, we are in the process of developing what we are calling the constituency innovation hubs, whereby in each and every constituency we are going to have an innovation hub. The event aims to showcase ways to take on challenges the continent is facing. The problems that we have today, which by the way are not just um, Kenyan problems, can indeed be way more effectively faster and more efficiently solved by applying technology. The event was organized by the Moringa School in Nairobi, which provides training in various technical capacities. How can you build on top of existing platforms? How can you enable people to do what the rest of the world is already doing currently? How can you enable people to buy things in a different continent, very easily using m -Pesa? Those are the kind of solutions we need. For participants, it was a chance to get answers to their tech-related questions. I've been interested in machine learning. It's a new interest, but I've been diving very deep into it, and so I wanted to hear what they had on that. Actually, I have come to see the advancements in technology that we can improve on in sub-Saharan Africa. And I've actually learned a lot from uh, presentations that have been in the Nairobi Tech Week. The urge to scale up my skills and get to know what others are working on in terms of the new technologies. Sponsors for this year's Nairobi Tech Week include Microsoft, Visa, Safaricom and many more. Vic Chege, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.